But first on Fox, the Cleveland County man at the center of a tense standoff in D.C. is now facing felony charges and could spend the rest of his life in prison. Thanks for joining us on this Friday night. I'm Brian Blakely. The feds say they're using a series of Facebook Live videos that Ray Roseberry made during that standoff to make their case. Tonight, Fox 46's Derek Dellinger breaks down what those documents show and what the scene still looks like in front of Roseberry's home in Grover. The feds knew Ray Roseberry was coming before a series of Facebook videos before he even got on the road from Cleveland County, North Carolina to Washington, D.C. Federal court documents show that someone Roseberry was related to tipped off Cleveland County deputies who then tipped off the FBI. The revolution's here, people. The revolution is here. In the videos, Roseberry claims a lot. But I'm here for a reason, Joe Biden. His grievances at the government, veteran care, health insurance, and the Democratic Party. He also claims that this thing that he's holding in one of his videos is a bomb. Works off decimals. Y'all see that little round thing? I know you're watching me. This little round thing right here is speakers. Court records show it was nothing more than a rusted can with an inch or two of an unidentified powder at the bottom. Whatever it was, though, and whatever Roseberry claimed, is still causing a mess in Cleveland County. We found law enforcement still on scene when we tried to get close to where Roseberry lived. John Dean lives near the road closure that's in place. It's normal to hear that we don't see anything like this around. In this part of Cleveland County, pretty much everybody knows everybody, but everyone we came across says that they did not know Ray Roseberry. Everybody knows him now, and they say it's not for the right reasons. They say he lived right now. <laughs> live right down the street from me. Roseberry's trek to D.C. ended in surrender and landed him in court. In addition to the documents that laid out what happened, Roseberry reportedly told the judge he didn't fully understand what was going on, claiming that he was missing medication and claiming that he had been in D.C. for a week when it was only two days. The judge ordered a competency hearing and that he be held without bond. Roseberry is due back in court on Wednesday. In Cleveland County, Derek Dollinger, Fox 46.